Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to explain the sulf-hydro group. The sulf-hydro group is a functional group that consists of just a sulfur and a hydrogen. Sulf-hydro groups consist of sulfur and hydrogen. Uh, there, obviously it's a polar functional group because sulfur is more electronegative than hydrogen, so it is a polar functional group, but that's not what's so special about the sulf-hydro group. The sulfhydro group um, is special because when one sulfhydro group from one molecule interacts with another sulfhydro group, let's say there's a another sulfhydro group over here, and remember what we do if there's if there's a, a a functional group on this side of a molecule, we write the H first, right? H S. This is a sulfhydro group. This is a sulfhydro group. Here we write S H. Here we write HS because, again, remember, you want to make it clear that the H is bound to the S and the S is bound to the rest of the molecule. So um, this sulfhydro group is going to interact with this other sulfhydro group on two different molecules. Something special happens. You would expect some kind of uh, hydrogen bond to form, but that's not what happens. Instead, here's the special thing that happens. Are you ready? You're going to lose these two hydrogens and you're going to actually form a real covalent bond. A real covalent bond between the two. So now this sulfur is actually covalently bond to that sulfur. And that's the special thing that happens when a sulfhydro group meets a sulfhydro group. It's called a disulfide bridge. There's a sulfur. There's a sulfur. It's a disulfide bridge. Uh, these are particularly neat because some of your amino acids in your proteins have sulfhydro groups and those amino acids in your proteins uh, when when they meet they can form these disulfide bridges and that can explain things like your hair uh, you could have straight hair wavy hair curly hair and it all has to do with the number of sulfhydro groups in your hair proteins you have fewer sulfhydro groups in your hair proteins those hair proteins cross link less you have straight hair you have more sulfhydro groups in your hair proteins, then those hair proteins cross-link more, they form disulfide bridges more, and you get the curly hair. So that's pretty interesting stuff. We're gonna be learning more about those sulfhydro groups and what they have to do with proteins later on. Uh, but that's a sulfhydro group. Again, it's a polar functional group, but that's not what's special about it. What's special about it is when they meet, they form disulfide bonds, which is a true covalent bond. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and talk to you next time.